you know, all of this uh, cheap pulse oximeter, is it really works? Hi everyone, this is Wilson from Places and Foods. So today I'm going to talk about one of the uh, popular devices that people are buying right now. So what I'm talking about is the oximeter. So this is one of the cheapest pulse oximeter online right now. I bought this from Shopee less than 20 ringgit. So there are two things I want to show you. First, I'm going to show you how the oximeter works. Second, does it really works properly? For your information, um, there's a lot of uh, oximeters out there and this is just one of the cheapest. So this is the um, Pulse oximeter and then I'm just going to do a quick unboxing video. So I'm just going to unbox this and as you can see, it's quite beat up from the delivery and it comes with the instruction manual that is so small. I think you need like a super sharp eyes or superman eyes, you know to read it uh, it's just too small for me so this is the oximeter and behind here it doesn't come with the triple a batteries so what i did is i bought the triple uh, a batteries okay you just need to turn on like that okay let me put everything away here you can see that's like a infrared what you need to do is just leave it there for a couple of seconds and then okay and then it will start to read so what you can see here this is the uh, oxygen level in the blood and then that's the pulse why a lot of people are getting this during this time because um, one of the early detections of COVID-19 is the oxygen level in your lungs so what happened if when your oxygen level is less than 90 you know like like you see it's reading right now i'm having like a 93 pulse what happened if this is less than 90 means your oxygen level all of a sudden drop and a lot of people will say you need to seek a medical advice or get a covid test check so what happened is you know all of this uh cheap pulse oximeter is it really works to determine whether it works or not, let us do a test. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rubber band. I'm just going to obstruct the blood flow to the tip. If I tie it like this, there's no blood to here. It shouldn't read any oxygen level at all. So let us try. Even I press harder. Okay, so it works. It doesn't read at all. So, so what I'm going to show you now is I'm putting on the middle finger. Okay, um, yeah, it just reverse. So as you can see, it works. Here it's 97 and pulse 90. And what if I put it back to this? finger it doesn't work at all okay so basically this cheap pulse oximeter actually works and it's less than 20 ringgit what I'm going to do is <laughs> I'm going to take back my rubber band ow 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 okay it'll take a couple of seconds for it to read yep so now it reads 86 it uh, I just need to re reverse it back okay so it's 99 now my pulse is 90 so basically this kind of chip oscillator actually works in a way with this test how accurate is it we don't know we are not medical experts but we are just doing a simple rubber band test uh, to make sure that it actually reads when this um, there's no uh, oxygen in the blood using the rubber band so I hope you understand how this works and the link for this device is at the description so I actually bought this from Shopee for less than 20 ringgit so you can check out the description 
for the Shopee link. So lastly, I want to say is I'm quite surprised that this actually works. You actually can check out the description for the Shopee link. So I hope this video is really useful for you guys. And I'm going to do more videos uh, in the future. And I'm trying to consistently doing more video in the future. So please do subscribe, like, or do comment if you have any questions. So thank you for watching everyone. This is Wilson from Places and Foods.